disco ball costume. I mean, I wish I had met this designer early because this is the kind of stuff I would show up in. Maybe not the gloves, but I like this kind of stuff. Honestly, back in the day, I danced, you know? So I was a dancer, I could cut a rug, but now more of my dancing is in my mind. Being on The Masked Dancer, it's a day that you may never forget, but it's a fun day. Take it off! 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 Take the ice cream head off! Take the ice cream head off! Take it off! Take it off! Take it off! Best-selling author oh and God. America's favorite science guy, Bill Nye! I liked being anonymous for the first time in many years. That was good. But what was different about what I imagined anonymity would be was the giant head with the screen. I didn't see that coming. That would be a punt. I didn't see that coming. Walking around, everybody called, Ice Cube, greetings, Ice Cube. Hi, Ice Cube, hi, Ice Cube. Without knowing was in here. So Bill, you know, did they guess your idea? Who didn't? and best-selling author. It has been so much fun being on The Masked Dancer and this journey that it's taken me on. I mean, I started where I literally could not dance, had two left feet, to performing on stage. It has been incredible, it has been so much fun. It's been an experience that I will remember forever. I've kind of joked around and said it's been one of the bravest things that I've willingly done in my life. My inspiration that brought me here to tonight, to the stage, to this Miss Moth, was my grandmother getting emotional just thinking about it. Just at her funeral, I remember just how fun she was, how funny she was. And she never let an opportunity pass her by. She truly, truly lived her life. And as I sat there thinking about my life in comparison, I just thought, wow, my life is so serious. I would be lying if I said it's not hard. So coming here and being on The Masked Dancer, well, the opportunity came and I just couldn't help but think of my grandma and thought, she would have done this. I feel like I was definitely able to show another side to my personality because most of the time I am really serious and I am very <laughs> prim and proper, one might say. But on this, it was just fun because putting on the mask, it was like nobody knew who I was. I Oh, I'm 
so excited that Brian McKnight is here. Thank you so much for being here. What an honor. It's very cool to put on a costume outside of Halloween just to walk around in and to be able to look and them not know that you're seeing things. It's almost like being the Invisible Man. It's very, very cool. I thought it was important, at least at the time, to be as in character as I could be to kind of throw people off as to who was underneath the mask, though. I tried to be as uh, cricket as much as I possibly could. It kind of sucked being unmasked because I thought that my performance tonight was actually way better than the one that I did on the first show. But, you know, I gave it my all. I did my best, and I think I'm, I'm proud of what I did. kind of reminds me of like a Guido from the Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore is known for the GTL and uh, the other guys GTL more than me. They were more of the muscle ones. I was the guy that was like actually fist pumping, creating all these dances on Jersey Shore. So it's fitting that I am here and uh, definitely going to add dancing to GTL. GTL. Obviously, I've been doing reality TV for like 10 years, but this is actually more of my wheelhouse. Like I love to perform, I love to like learn new things and have to perform them in front of a stage. Totally different from reality TV. Um, there is a reality element, I mean, it's real, but at the same time, um, it's not like, you know, about what girl is fighting with what girl in the other room. It's like about learning how to dance and perform. I love it, I'm like an introverted, shy person. I'm not like really extroverted and all out there like that. So I got to kind of be extra. I got to be crazy inside that costume because no one knew who I was. I tried not to get emotional, but to have Paula on the show was a big deal for me. It was a very big full circle moment. She knew me when I was 16 years old. I, I, you guys saw it. That was crazy. It was crazy. I'm just happy that I got that moment. I knew that she knew who I was, and I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm oh. so happy for your entire career. I Thank love you so love much. You. I'm glad that I can make Paula proud, being that it was 14 years ago that I won the show that she was on. I feel so accomplished. I'm ecstatic right now. I'm happy just to have an opportunity and to go out there and face my my fear. You know, it was pretty cool. And I'm gonna be silly and I'm gonna just have a good time and laugh. And every time I was dancing on there, I literally was laughing every single time. It was just funny. It was. I had a great time. It was a blast. media juggernaut, Mackenzie Ziegler. I have always loved The Masked Singer and my friends and I are obsessed with it. And this dance competition was way different than anything I've ever done because this was very uplifting, this was fun. I mean, if you didn't win, it wasn't like a big deal. Obviously, everyone's a winner. But at normal dance competitions, if you don't win, you get yelled at. So this is way more fun, and I had the best experience. I think what made me the most nervous about the whole competition was that I couldn't see my competition. So I had no clue if the others were good or bad or what style of dance they did. So it was really all just a mystery for me, but I had so much fun. Sing it on. Sing it on. Oh, 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 oh,
Sasha and dancing with the Stars champion, Maxim Smigowski. First dance was crazy. It was a lot to get used to. Um, this is actually very hard. I'm sweating as we speak. I've been sweating for a couple hours already, so it's been interesting, but very rewarding, incredible experience. Rehearsal process is not something I'm not used to, but rehearsal where you have to wear a ski mask and, and, and a hoodie and kind of like a onesie situation is, is a little different. I wanted to do a lot, but, you know, felt like some of the things that costume was restricting, and then that mentality changed to the costume actually allowed for a lot more stuff to come out. So for the first time in, what, 30 years of dancing, I was able to keep doing the same thing, but also give other elements. And I think that was incredible that somebody had, like this panel uh, noticed that. like my partner's trophy this is like the wardrobe like this is like not only my trophy because there's so many pieces i'm probably going to put it where all my other trophies are the mass dancer has definitely taught me to be enough with myself you'll know what i do gymnastics and every team that i did was never perfect and just to have those voices to tell me this routine was enough just go out there and just have fun was very reassuring i chose to be on the mass dancer because I love being mysterious and also performing and being a theatrical character all at the same time. So that really drew me to be on The Masked Dancer. Just to be in a mask and just to perform so many different style of dances and also be in character while doing it and telling a story. This is one of my favorite competitions ever. I just want to say I love you so much, C. 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 your nickname. It was such a joy to embody someone so sweet, so loving and so just so light. You're a fresh breath of air, and I love you so much, and I'll never forget you. Who is it? Hey, what's going on? Joey here. Thank you so much for joining me on this season of The Mask Dancer. Make sure you are subscribed because just like the past four seasons of The Masked Singer, we'll be giving you all the spoils, all the surprises, and the pitch correct audio. And we already started for season five of The Masked Singer, including new costumes that we just released yesterday. That's right. So make sure you are subscribed, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Stay safe, everyone. I'll see you later. Bye.